There are lots of books and movies and articles and all kinds of media on happiness. But let's be honest, we don't do happiness very well at all. What we specialize in is the pursuit of unhappiness. Yeah, we really have this unhappiness stuff done pretty well. Today, I want to talk about our pursuit of unhappiness. And I want to start by a quote from Philip Larkin, an English poet who said, I think writing about unhappiness is probably the source of my popularity. After all, most people are unhappy. As I talk about our pursuit of unhappiness today, you may hear some things about yourself, and that's fine. But in the meantime, I want to ask you that you subscribe to this channel as well as click the bell so you're notified of future videos. Unhappiness, discontentment, looking for something, something that's going to be fulfilling, that's going to make me feel better, that's going to make me happy. You know, Marketing professionals understand this human desire to find something more, something that's going to fill that missing piece. And they play to it. They play to it really well. And, and, and we buy into it all the time. You know, think about what happens every time a new phone comes out. The phone we have works perfectly fine, but we got to have the new one. So we sign up for it in advance, we'll stand in line, we'll do whatever it takes to get that new phone, to be the first person among our friends to have it. The same is true with young people with sneakers. They have to have those new sneakers, the right color, you know, the signature of the sports hero on the side. That to them says something about themselves. That shows they've got it, whatever the it is. There are so many ways that we pursue unhappiness. We have to have the right job, the right salary level, the right, you know, car, the right home, the right this. We have to have the, the right number of children, the right kind of spouse, the right relationship, the eat the right kind of food, go on the right place to, for, for vacation. And if we do all these things the right way, we think we're pursuing happiness, but we're really pursuing unhappiness. You know, the problem isn't the consumer culture. Consumer culture is simply picking up on what's actually happening, what the reality is. We've been taught throughout our lives that what we need to do is achieve, to work towards goals, to become something more, to look ahead, to strive. And all that striving, all that aiming for goals, to not just get the position you have right now at work, but where do you want to be in five years? All of that is about pursuing unhappiness. It's about saying there's something out there beyond my grasp that's going to bring me happiness, that's going to bring me fulfillment that's going to take me to the next level of what? We don't know what that next level is, but we work towards it. And you know, we do this in spirituality and religion too. We think we have to have that next right experience. It's foundational within Christianity. We have to have that savior, in Jesus to take us away from whatever it is we need to be taken away from. It's looking for something beyond us. But we also see it in other kinds of spirituality where you have to have this kind of experience. It's looking for happiness outside of ourselves. That's the pursuit of unhappiness. As long as we believe that there's something outside of ourselves that's going to make us whole, make us content, make us happy, we are set for unhappiness. And when somebody begins to realize that they're not happy, oh, we don't like when they say it. If somebody says I'm unhappy, we think, are they depressed? Is this some sort of mental illness? How can they say that they're unhappy? After all, they have a nice home, a car, a job, a this and that. 
You see, we go into this thing about if you have all the right stuff, then you should be happy. And people will think that about themselves. They'll think, I have this, that, and the other thing that I'm supposed to have, but I'm not happy. What am I doing wrong? So they pursue unhappiness harder. Instead, the solution is to stop. Stop pursuing things outside of ourselves. We begin to be happy when we're able to look at ourselves and affirm our own goodness, our own wholeness, our own completeness. We've come into the world as whole, complete, good individuals, and we find happiness when we begin to appreciate that. And then we can begin to understand that, yeah, as a whole, complete person, I have certain gifts and talents. I don't have others, but I have what I have. And those things can grow, they can unfold, but they don't have to be based on goals. They can be based on a natural development. And it's in that natural development that happiness grows. Spiritually, I understand this to be critically important because it's based on my spiritual understanding that who we each are uniquely is a reflection of the divine, that there's a divine spark in each of us, a divine light, an inner illumination. And as we grow more with that reality in us, when we recognize that that life force is in us, then we can allow it to unfold. We don't need it to be outside of us because it's already here. The pursuit of unhappiness is the pursuit of things outside of ourself. Happiness begins with the affirmation of who we are and finding contentment in that. And that's a hard transition for people to make. That's a transition that you know that you need to make. Perhaps it's best to work with a spiritual director and you can send me a direct message or an email and I'll talk with you about that. But in the meantime, consider how is it that you're pursuing unhappiness and what can you do to untangle yourself from that to affirm who you are and live with contentment? Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it, leave me some comments, and know that I appreciate the time you take on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Have a great day.